Hey, welcome back to Minecraft through the night. Let's continue our thoughts, uh, do a little celebrating, a little hoorayin. <clears throat> I was talking to you last time about the, um, you know, the Braves pitcher, uh, Tyler Matsky. And um, I really feel... Um, you know, I feel pretty strongly about celebrating small things. And um, you might say we got not much to celebrate right now because we got, what, 3,000 meters to go to find our death spot, right? I'm looking for it. There it is. 3,000 meters. That's, that's that's a long way, but you know what? Every journey is a step at a time. Um, also gives me a chance to test. I, I'm not wearing my traveler's boots. Just these gold boots that I had lying around. This is just these, these, this gold stuff I had laying around. <laughs> Lying or chickens lay, people lie, as my seventh grade English teacher made sure to tell us. Always stuck in my mind. Chickens lay, people lie. Um, celebrate. I've had a I've had a good day here. Depression has been my lifelong companion, and I feel like I'm slowly untangling the various threads of it much like um, much like Matzik untangled the threads of his yips and overcame his yips to have a great season with the Braves great great season to have a really good season with the Braves and a great performance in the postseason for the Braves um, what is that? looks like a structure now I guess it's just sand <clears throat> he overcame his yips um, and in part by learning to celebrate small things letting himself congratulating himself having fun after a good pitching performance you know coming off the mound striking out the side and giving fist bumps and letting out some emotion man letting his brain feel good emotion from succeeding and I think uh, I think there's a lot to unpack there are a lot to talk about and a lot to unpack uh, but let's just let's just dwell on that for a while let's just let that stew for a while because what I want to talk about today is the 10,000 yips because that's another idea another great idea I think he had in his uh, interview that led to that magazine article I'm drawing all this from uh, just Google uh, Tyler Matzik yips and I'm sure you will find the um, you'll find the publication it's free online no paywall no nothing uh, good piece of what I felt was journalism good strong journalism um, um, so the 10,000 yips. One of the things he talked about is um, that he had this idea what if he had this, I would call it a hypothesis. That's, that's how I would think of it. Hypothesis. And this is dog's paraphrase. This is not Tyler Maskey talking. This is dog. Uh, Matzik talking. This is, this is me, dog talking. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so hoarse. <sighs> tension. Usually, horse comes hoarseness for me comes from stress, tension. I don't know. Oh, I'll have to try and relax and think about it. So. The hypothesis. 
the 10,000 yips. He started making casual toss and, toss and catch throws with friends and teammates um, and during the time that he was and was not employed by baseball. Um, and the more he threw, often he um, often he had yips. He'd throw the ball straight in the ground or throw the ball wildly. So he had to have a friend or teammate he was throwing with that understood and was patient. And he had this, he developed this idea called the 10,000 yips. If I throw the ball, if, if I if I go ahead and just have my 10,000 yips and be done with it, I'll get through it. Just go ahead and get done with my 10,000 yips. I'm just going to throw the ball as much as I can and just get done with it with the 10,000 yips. Get them all out of my system. Um, and I think that was an incredibly insightful, if not brilliant, way of looking at it. Okay. I'm going to have, okay, I've got the yips. I got the yips. Well, you know, I'm committed to this baseball thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and have my 10,000 yips and be done with it. Get it over with. And I think about me and uh, my writing process, how I, I would metaphorically take my ball and go home if, if my work wasn't well received. On the one hand, negative criticism, although it stings, it was a great motivator to just keep working harder to prove the haters wrong, right? Um, in writing and teaching, engineering, uh, programming, designing, uh, 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 YouTubing, <laughs> um, Maybe I'm still working through my 10,000 yips, and if that's the case, I appreciate your patience. Um, so whatever the 10,000 yips are, whatever the yips are, go ahead and get your 10,000, just go ahead and get them out of the way. Do them. Accept them. Accept it. Accept it. Yes. Accept your yips and be done with it. Maybe the yips are asking people out. Maybe it's going out on a date. Uh, Joe, maybe it's, um, uh, for some people I think it's work. It's, well, I'm just not good enough for this job. Well, I, I know I can do this job, but I, I just have this crazy, I mouth off to the wrong people at the wrong time. I say the wrong thing. I do, I screw up at the wrong time. You know, we all screw up, but I screw up at the worst times. Well, Keep on. Work through those 10,000 yips. Just keep keep working through it with somebody who um, understands what you're going through and will be patient with you. How are we going to get around this thing? So that's, that's my take on what Tyler Matzik said. Um, you know, if you have read the article, if you've read the, the essay, and I urge you to, I'd be very interested to know what your take is on it, on the 10,000 yips. Um, but I love that idea. It's an acceptance. First and foremost, I accept that I have the yips. Okay, I got the yips. I love this game of baseball. What am I going to do? Am I going to walk away from baseball? He said... Um, there was a day in particular where he he opened his computer and he pulled up the local community college and he began looking for their classes for the fall because fall semester registrations were closing soon. And his wife said, what are you doing? He said, um, he said, I need to get on with my life. I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking about enrolling. See if there's something I'd like to take so we can, we can move on from this. <laughs> she said, no. You're not, you're not leaving baseball. And um, 
she said um, in the interview that she doesn't know why this particular conversation stuck with him, but she said she had told him that tons of times, thousands, hundred times, <laughs> tens of times, hundreds of times, that she believed in him. But for some reason, this particular moment hit him deep. And it's like, um, maybe, this is me talking, it's dog talking, maybe not so much that he probably always knew that she believed in him, you know? But when somebody says no, just no, you're not doing that. We're not giving up on this. There's a little bit extra in it, you know. When somebody tells you no, we're staying with baseball, come what may. Baseball brought us together, and baseball is going to be our together thing. Um, something about that moment really stuck with him, and um, and he got back after it. Um, it was not long after that that an old friend of his, an old colleague, uh, connected him with a someone who uh, a player, a former pitcher, who got the yips and went into went into the military. Oh my word! Speaking of the yips, I think my system has the yips. Look at it. I wonder if we're back to a. I know I'm not running a. Um, not running antivirus software that was causing it last time. Let's see, debug, uh, shift, alt, is there a way, where's my FPS at, top left, 74, 38, Okay, can I do a shift F3? Nope, shift F3, F3. F3, Q. I don't know, I just want to see the graph of FPS. So I want you to think about that and talk with me in the comments. Let's kind of ha let's try to have some kind of a conversation about this. If not now, then at any point. You reference the 10,000 yips in, um, in a comment and, and let's talk about this. Because I am very, very curious about it. Um, I used to teach in the classroom. I we would talk about Malcolm Gladwell's idea of ten thousand. What is it? Ten thousand hours. You do something for ten thousand hours, and and you become a master of it. Um, he really he argues with the idea of innate talent versus ten thousand hours, just practice, uh, repetition, and practice. And you know, I'm not, sh I'm not, I'm not saying Malcolm Gladwell knows everything. I really enjoy his work, his his writing and his research. Enjoy it tremendously. I'm not going to say that I'll totally defend him on everything he he writes about. But I think I do. It's always a pleasure to read what he has to say because he researches and he thinks about his his uh, ideas very carefully. Good word. So the ambient sounds are disabled, so I don't know what what this is from. Look at that. All right, well, I'm going to put a break here, and we will resume, resume 
Minecraft through the night. We've definitely got a memory leak. It might be in Forge too. It might just be Forge. We will resume another time for the death run to go get our gear. I'll see you then.